The first three episodes of Marvel's Runaways debuted November 21st on Hulu. A new episode of the hit show will premiere November 28th, picking up right where episode 3 left off. After being sacrificed by Pride, the body of young Destiny Nicole Wolf washes up on the beach. This can't be good for the Pride members, who have been dead set on keeping their organization a secret from everyone. Things are only going to get more complicated from here. Hollywoodlife.com got the chance to talk exclusively with Annie Wershing, who plays the formidable Leslie Dean, about what's ahead in season 1. Annie is not only Carolina's Virginia Gardner mother and a member of Pride, S.H.E.S. also the head of the Church of Gibram. On top of all that, there's something very creepy going on with Leslie and the mysterious man she frequently visits. Annie teases the importance of this mysterious man, how Leslie and Carolina's relationship will evolve, and more in our Q&A below. The end of episode 3 features Leslie finding out that Destiny's body has washed up on shore. Where does the story go from here? Annie Wershing news that Destiny's body has washed up is certainly not good news for Leslie and Pride. They're in a bit of a scramble, because as you'll find out as the story goes on, the sacrifices are needed to keep something else alive, which is very key and important to Leslie and the world, actually. What's next for Leslie I feel like in the first three episodes S.H.E.S. being pulled in multiple directions, Annie Wershing it's actually very interesting. Out of all parents, I have the least amount of scenes with Virginia Gardner, who plays Carolina, just because Leslie has so much else going on. Like, I have all these church scenes and scenes with the mysterious man. Leslie is for sure being pulled in many, many directions. She is the head of this super powerful, slightly creepy church. There's a lot going on with that, and then S.H.E.S. also pretty much the leader of Pride. S.H.E.S. trying to keep her daughter doing everything that she needs her to do for the church. But probably the biggest thing in Leslie's life is this mysterious man, who is in the white room. There is obviously a lot of mystery going on there, but what is happening is very, very important to Leslie. It's pretty much the only thing she needs to concentrate on and fix right now. Will we see over the course of the season how Leslie became such a leader in both the church and pride? Annie Wershing you definitely get a lot more information about Leslie's backstory, in particular, how it relates to pride and this mysterious man. Again, he is a very important part of Leslie's story. As we learn more about him, you also learn more about her and the reasons why S.H.E.S. been doing what S.H.E.S. doing and how Pride came to be. A lot of those answers we find out when we find out more about the mysterious man. In the first few episodes, Leslie and Carolina's relationship is a bit tense. How will their relationship evolve over the course of the season? Annie Wershing Leslie and Carolina are definitely both busy with other things, and I know Carolina feels like Leslie doesn't get her or understand her or give her any time for the kind of things that she really needs to discuss with her mother. Frank Dean is more the parental figure that Carolina can confide in, but our relationship does change as the season goes on, and we learn a lot more about each other. Everything that Leslie is doing and has done, and everything that is evil or bad in the grand scheme of things is for her daughter. So Carolina may not know that to feel that in the love that she feels from Leslie, but when it comes down to it, everything Leslie is doing is for her daughter. The first two episodes featured different perspectives. Will we see more of that in season one Annie Wershing? I think you see a lot of stuff in the present day that the audience doesn't understand or you can't figure out why these people are possibly doing that, and then they'll flash to more of the origins of our show and how and why those people are doing those things. It's not so much a perspective switch as much as it is jumping around in time and getting to really understand their reasons. It seemed like Destiny's sacrifice weighed on Leslie. Will we continue to see guilt from her? Annie Wershing 100%. I think that's what makes Leslie so interesting. I feel like there's a lot of characters on TV that are so cold, calculated, and manipulative, you don't always get to see the emotional side of them. They've given Leslie free reign to show, not necessarily the characters in the show, but the audience gets to see what it's doing to her and the toll it's taking on her to do these things that she has to do. The people of Pride seem to all have their own motivations and intentions. Is it possible to see the strength of this secretive group break apart? Annie Wershing Pride, in general, is together for some very specific reasons and other than that a lot of the members want to have nothing to do with it. So there's definitely a lot of friction in the upcoming episodes between the parents and between the members of Pride. They disagree about a lot of different things and the ways they're going about doing things. Definitely a key component in the future episodes is the breakdown of Pride and what it takes to keep to keep Pride together.
One of Leslie's strong suits is bringing people together and getting people to do things that need to be done. What is your favorite part about playing Leslie? Annie Wershing first of all, I love that she dresses in all white all the time. There's just something so unique and specific and special about that. I just love it. I think that all the Pride members have their thing, and the fact that Leslie has this whole church aspect I think gives her an extra creepy factor that is unique to her. But I really enjoy trying to find the humanity and trying to find the likability in a character as tough as Leslie. I've played a lot of tough ladies in my career so far, but S.H.E.S. definitely a really interesting mix of powerful manipulation and a mom, who is feeling these emotions in her core, but still has to do what she has to do. What's going to cause the most complications for Leslie this season, Pride of the Church? Annie Wershing again, with Leslie, a lot her storyline comes to revolve around this mysterious man and what exactly that is and means. A lot of the tension comes through him, which is probably mostly related to the church, but she has to defend him to the Pride members. It's really all wrapped up into one big, enormous pain in the butt for her. Hollywood lifers. How are you liking Marvel's Runaways so far? Let us know.